Hey everybody and welcome into another special day with the NHLPA's Goals and Dreams Fund and Sonnet Insurance. I'm David Amber, host of Hockey Night in Canada, as well as the NHL on Sportsnet. So happy to be here. Today we're meeting up with a great group of young women new to Canada and new to hockey in the Hockey for Youth program in Ottawa. The man behind this Hockey for Youth program, Mo Hasham, joins us as well. Uh, Mo, tell us about this. How do you go out and find these young women new to Canada and say, you know what, we're really help you feel great about coming to your new country. We really focus on high priority communities. We go into the schools. We really like getting in front of uh, kids and presenting to them and showing them what hockey is all about. Quite remarkable when you see, you know, uh, girls uh, coming from countries like Syria and Mauritania and Pakistan and Ethiopia and Somalia to uh, to take that chance, you know, and to get on the, onto the ice for the first time. Why did you feel hockey would be the right vehicle to pull uh, these women together. It's so ingrained in Canadian culture and the only barrier should be the boards and once you're a hockey player you're going to be a hockey player for the rest of your life. This is pretty cool. Uh, a, a group of young women, all of you brought together by the game of hockey and I can tell you that our first guest is one of those women. She played in college at Wisconsin. She was a star there. Then she joined the Toronto Furies in the CWHL where she was a star there and then she represented Canada at the Olympics in 2018, winning a silver medal. We'll welcome in Sarah Nurse. Hey, Sarah. Hey, guys. What barriers, you know, did you face as a young girl playing a predominantly male sport? I was always told by other people, different parents, different opponents, that I probably wouldn't make it in hockey anywhere because everybody only saw the NHL. I didn't really have that intention or um, a goal to reach and so I just wanted to have fun and that's what really has always driven me and made me passionate about the game. I want to welcome in another guest who's going to partake in this conversation and uh, Sarah mentioned the NHL, the highest level of men's hockey there is to play uh, and to be a superstar in the NHL means you're one of the best players in the world and our next guest is exactly that. Patrice Bergeron jumps in now to join this conversation. Thanks for having me, happy to be here. Hi everyone. What does it mean to you to see all these wonderful women from across the globe partaking in the game that you love so much? Oh, it's amazing. I'm so proud actually to see this. I think it's uh, an amazing moment and that's what we want to make sure that hockey is a, is a safe place for everyone. Who was excited when they got out there and got a, a sense of getting a chance to play hockey? Jamila, I see a big smile from you. Uh, why don't you tell us what it was like the first time you got out on the ice? I just really love it and I had so much fun in it and I never get out of it. Pakistan's national sport is also hockey. When I was in Pakistan, I used to skate with those, you know, the wheel skates. That's why I was really familiar to ice, like skating. It was quite a good experience. When I got familiar with hockey, I was like, oh, that's cool. Skating is cool, you know, because for me, roller skates, my siblings used to play on it a lot but when I try it at the end of the first practice I was getting it. Growing up I, I did a lot of roller skating and, and inline skating and that actually helped so I can see why uh, your first experience on the ice was easy and, and you felt great. How do you like playing with your teammates Wafa? Mayada do you want to ask her in Arabic? Wafa I want to show you how you feel that you like to play with your teammates. Okay. She likes to be uh, on the ice and try and know different things because she's new to Canada. And Mayada, did you find the same thing? It helps you? Yeah, of course. And I really like it and enjoy it. What's it like to um, compete for Canada in the Olympics? Being able to play hockey there um, was definitely a dream come true for me. Yeah, I have to agree. It was, uh, it was an honor, a dream come true, very special uh, event for sure, something I'll never forget. How do you feel when you're like in a game with the all cheer cheering you and playing together? To have a chance to play in a, in a building full of fans cheering you on is, uh, is amazing. The energy, the atmosphere and uh, the feelings that you get are uh, hard to describe, but definitely uh, worth it and, and very rewarding as well. Uh, do you like to play other sports other than hockey? I played so many different sports growing up and I think that's what made me into such a good hockey player because I had a lot of reach in a lot of different sports. What do you guys do when you have a day off? I chase my three kids around, that's what I do. <laughs> that's, my, that's my workout on days off. How has hockey influenced your life? The values that it's taught me, that I've, you know, it wasn't always easy. As I played hockey, there were some ups and downs, there was some adversity that I faced. 
and it was how to deal with it. For me, hockey has taught me so many different like life skills, but it's also helped me become motivated and it's given me kind of a passion and a direction. And so hockey's definitely shaped me into the person that I am today. Patrice, you have a little bit of a surprise for all these uh, young women here at uh, Hockey for Youth. Yes, I have a, a very special announcement actually. So on behalf of my teammates and the NHLPA Goals and Dreams Fund is donating brand new equipment to your program so that you and even more friends can continue to play this great game. Wow, that's awesome. Awesome, Patrice. Stick around though, we have another special guest coming up. His name's Doug Gilmore. He has some news to pass along as well. And you guys said you were dying to get out on the ice. Well, maybe Doug can help with that. Sonnet Insurance is donating a full season of ice time. Woo! Woo! Wow. wow. So thank you. <laughs> and Mushtaq, you said you said you were dying to get back out on the ice. This is great news. Yeah, thank you so much. I would like first uh, thank you like for uh, being here, and I'm so happy. I'm so excited, and I just want to say thank you so much. <laughs> but how many of you are going to continue playing hockey as long as you can? <laughs> yeah, it should be too. <laughs>